Welcome back YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, the TRX and it's been just over a year since I've had it and it's kind of like my review and review of some of the things I've done. So as far as the truck goes, uh, it's probably the best truck I've ever had. Um, it does it, it does everything that I would want. So you got the, the, the power, the comfort, the interior, um, it's, uh, from the power wagon, it's like a Cadillac in that sense. But then again, you can change the suspension, make it stiffer if you want, stuff like that. But, uh, I definitely love the truck. It took the place of a power wagon and a Z, uh, a Z06. I don't regret it, uh, at all doing that. Uh, it's kind of a good mix of the two. And I still think that way a year later. So... But what I did, and then it's not because of the gas prices, um, it's mainly because I didn't want my truck sitting out cooking all day in the sun when I, I'm at work, so I bought a beater car to drive, and then I kind of drive this on the weekends or when I need to do truck stuff. Um, and when I have some time, I'm not going to be on vacation, I'll probably be driving it around then and have some fun with it. But... For the most part, I decided I didn't want to beat on it in the sense of driving it every day, putting all those miles on it. So, that being said, um, the truck's an A-plus for me. So, what I have done, first thing here, this is one of the first things I did, was this uh, JLT catch cannon. And if you notice, compared to other ones you probably see, it's a little longer because I bought this extension. Since I live in a cold climate, the single, this was just this part, I added this piece. It threads in between, it just makes it longer. Um, I was getting a lot of condensation, and that was causing water, like it to fill up a lot faster when it's colder out when you drive it. So condensation would build up in there. This, this gives you more time before it's, I mean, I never had it get all the way to the top, but I mean, it was about up, say up to here. You, it's well, say this was on and without this it was like you know almost there so that's one thing and that was what i suggest to do if you live in cold climates add that um down there you can't really tell but you got the incognito on there and i would say for um for what you get power wise and the ease of putting it on I say it's good. What it gives you a good low end uh, boost. Um, I'm not sure so much on the top end. It feels about the same to me, but you do get another pound, sometimes two pounds more, depending on the weather. So it does make a difference, and I haven't had a problem with it. And it's been on there a year. I don't hear no squeaking or anything like that, like what people like to say about it. Uh, so. That being said, well, maybe I'll bring it up at the end. <clears throat> um, my tow hooks, they're a little scratched up because when I did this, the winch, putting the bumper on and off a million times, I ended up scratching it because there's some sharp steel behind the bumper. So now that it's all together, I just need to take the two bolts out, pull those off, and I'll fix them up. It's not a big deal. Um... I got this. I'll have to look it up. I'll put it up on the thing. Uh, on the description. These are painted here. Body color in the center. And uh, the red on the outside. The Swarf Works winch setup. That he sent me the kit for. To get it on here and try out. I haven't really used it yet. But. I just. I'm just glad I have it. Because getting rid of the power wagon that was one thing that i wanted to have that i do have now so um that's that with that so if, i don't know if these got those in but it keeps i keep looking for it for other people and it keeps saying that it's not available yet so i don't know i'm hoping he does because i'm sure there's a lot of guys that want to keep the stock bumper and have a winch on it you know uh <clears throat> It's the uh, Xenon 
winch too so it's uh, completely wireless even the clutch works off the remote uh, here's the controller setup that I came up with for the um, cutout exhaust which is the QTP setup if you can get under here and that's been on there also this has all been on there since I got it so I've had no issues whatsoever um, RPB beadlock capable wheels this was the best thing I could come up with because I wasn't going to pay four grand for the stock um, or the the, G, the uh, Mopar ones I got the uh, these were cheap 30 bucks for these uh, paint matched mirrors they come that way there's uh, you can just look them up on eBay you'll find them the KC lights up on the ram bar along with the brackets those are Mopar brackets that go on the ram bar uh, this was also I have all the emblems these are reflective red so when the light hits them they uh, reflect red just like I said but I kind of went with that theme around the whole thing and then this is uh, American trucks or something this is the uh, it's a stick on spoiler um, I think it kind of goes well with the truck as far as the look of it you know as far as kind of sporty looking um, also the red TRX on the on the hood and this is a revolver uh, X4 um, cut hard cover so it looks like a soft cover like leather the look to it but it is hard but it rolls up and it will fit in between the roll bar up there also we got the Revelco for security well if I'm at home I leave it in there because it's locked up inside the in the garage so I don't worry about that but anywhere I go where I suspect I might need to pull it I pull it out so I don't have to worry about anything with that unless they want to tow it I don't like the Alcantara on the steering wheel I hate it so I just got this cover it is like super tight to get on there but I thought that I was just going to screw it up with my hands because I don't always get in here when my hands are clean. This, as you can see the emblem underneath the leather cover there, it does kind of match all the stitching and everything. And it's pretty skin tight there as you can see. Uh, I don't really have any issues with it. It's been on there also about a year and I don't burn my arm ever. And yes. I still haven't taken my sticker off the seat. Also, these are the rock blocks. Um, mud flaps. They're like perfect. I don't get nothing. As you can see, the side of the truck hardly gets anything on it. I've driven through lots of puddles and stuff. Um, these are plus 10 offset. I think stock is like plus 19 or 18, something like that. So they're really close to what stock is. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Another thing I did is this is the plug for it. I got it just kind of zip tied up. Is this? Oh, here it is. I did install a block heater. It literally takes about 10 minutes to put it in. There's a hole on this side of the truck. Uh, a passage nothing is in the way you could just slide it in and plug it in and no issues um, I didn't even use it because I started parking it inside all the time and it's rarely outside so I don't really worry about it but just in case I need it I got it why not and back here the rear uh, I think the Helwig sway bar the one thing I learned about this as you want to set it with the truck in the air so 
this is one of those things that I had to fix after I put it on. Just like if I went back with the, um, with the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, catch can that you want to make an extension if it's in colder weather. This, when you're at full extension, you don't want the sway bar to be hitting the axle or any part of it. So what you do is have it droop all the way down and set the length to that. And when I put it up, it was about right in the middle where it should be. But, you know, it might be just past it. You just don't want to, if you do take it off-road, have it holding you back from full travel. and Or worse, bend something because the axle drooped so quick and then you know and then, then the sway bar hit the axle while it came down so that was one thing that i addressed um right away right when i did an oil change on it i noticed that so that was just one fix i had to make after i did it um and inside i don't think i'm gonna do the door stuff because i don't want to do all that but it got the um the Oracle dash lighting. So, but this, you can change it to whatever color you want. Um, that was just another thing that, uh, I didn't even know it had those accent lights and, until I read something about it and I'm like, what? And then I looked and then I didn't never, they were never turned on. So I had to turn them on to find out that they were even there. And the other, the only other thing was the air filters. Not sure if I mentioned it earlier in the video, but the stock or the, not the stock. I put in these air filters from, that were K&N that was from Shop Hellcat, and they sent me some air filters with the part number ground off the side of it, and they technically fit in there, but they didn't fit right. So I never felt good about it. They haven't been in there very long, and then I just ordered the AFE ones with the right air filter that sits in there right i did another video on that so that is it that i've done to this i've ran the draggy on it it runs like 12 2 right now and i'd like to check it again soon see if anything changed with the, i added the winch so i don't know if it made it slower so with just a little more weight not i don't think it would but it might um the only thing that I think I want to do and it's all up to me wanting to say whether or not I'm done with this warranty is the Repatune twin turbo kit I think that's all I want to do to it I mean he's telling me that it'll be over 800 horse to put that on to the tires on uh, 93 that's good enough so and then that's without touching the the engine, no change in pulleys. It'd be like probably taking the one that's on there off. It's you know it's just uh, it's like keeping it simple, but not in a way. It's just a bolt-on turbo kit, and then getting it tuned. So that's probably the direction I'll go down the road. I don't know if it'll be next year or what, but uh, probably not this year. I, I doubt it. I got other stuff to do, but. Um, but that's it. That's all the modifications that I've done and um, my thoughts on the truck as a whole. And with everything I've done to it, I want to say that uh, it's like perfect now. So other than the twin turbos, because who doesn't want 850 horse? So uh, until next time, if you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel and we'll talk at you next time. One other quick thing I wanted to add that I forgot to mention was that uh, this truck did have the lean and uh, I had the springs put on it on the driver's side they put stiffer ones on so uh, you know I was wondering how it was going to be after that but you know I think this side of the truck driver's side is heavier anyway so I think the truck handles better and uh, well, of course it's level but it feels right now down the road. It feels a little bit uh, wishy-washy sometimes before. So that was one thing I forgot to mention. That was something that the dealer did, no problem. So um, I just wanted to mention that. It, depending on the spring number that you have, 
they either put a lighter or spring on the one side or the other. But mine had the stiffer springs, so they had to put the stiffest springs on the right side, front and back. So I just wanted to mention that also. All right, again, smash that subscribe button if you like what you see, and I will have some other uh, stuff coming up. Thanks.